every single one of you thank you for joining us for this little restaurant food review and it's the last night on board absolutely gutted we're almost back in Southampton but tonight we are gonna wine and dine not so much <laughs> wine but more dine in the Ta -da! Yes, the Sixth Street Diner, and it is on deck six as well, which is fantastic. You can see, you'll see it on the deck six tour, but the uh, the decor in this place, and you can hear the music going in the background, is all American influence. Of course, it's a diner, love it, and I'll tell you what, there is so much to have on the menu. Um, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it, where you go, do you know what? we should have eaten in here weeks ago a week ago two weeks ago when we first got on board we did for, for, for breakfast but we didn't film that one because we thought we'd eaten there a few more times but yeah it's got a massive array it's really really appetizing you can show that bit down on the video and also I'll post a picture with the menu on it as well but I want to try two or three mains, I want to try two or three starters, I want to try two or three desserts but I don't think my little belly or big belly can handle it all. I cannot wait for this. Sarah's really excited and um, yeah, this place is amazing. So much atmosphere and there was a big queue outside so make sure you book it on the app as quick as you can. Right, let's get into this menu and we'll show you exactly what we've chosen for this evening's meal straight after. Our starters have arrived. Me and Sarah have gone for the same one, but I've been a little bit more greedy. I wanted to try another one, so I've got two starters today, so fantastic stuff. First up, we have the barbecue pulled pork bonbons. Now that is Alabama barbecue white sauce with apple and green chili coleslaw. Just look at that. So inside those little beauties, we're gonna have pulled pork. And but first up, before we get tucked into those, we're gonna try the jumbo shrimp cocktail. Look at the size of those shrimp, amazing. Shredded lettuce, of course, with a little bit of lemon to sprinkle over the top. And basically a US cocktail sauce, so I'm not quite sure what that's gonna taste like. I'm sure it's going to be stunning. So, let's get a little bit of lemon over the top. I'll tuck into mine first. Let's pick up a prawn. Get a little bit of lettuce. Dump that in the sauce. Right, just get right in on that. And there we go. Now doesn't look, that looks spectacular. Mm. Oh wow. That is so good. It's like a chili sauce, like a tomato based chili sauce. A little bit of a kick, but not too hot. And the prawns, the king shrimp prawns, whatever you want to call them, we've had them in a few meals now in different restaurants, and they've always been huge. Really, really good. So this is the pulled pork. Oh, 
softer than what I thought it would be. So this is pulled pork and a chili cold chili mayo. You look nice. Yeah, barbecue chili mayo sauce and um, apple and green chili coleslaw. Okay, not too bad. Again, you know when we had the lobster and um, on the carnival rice and then it was mushed up? That full pork is quite mushy. So I expect it to be a little bit tougher. A little bit of heat coming through now afterwards, but you can really taste the apple in the coleslaw, which is really, really nice as well. So yeah, not bad at all. There's so much to try on the menu. I think Sarah's ordered two mains, so we'll see what she thinks of those. We've gone for more or less the same thing because we've got the same tastes. But um, I'm going to tuck into this and I'll come back to you guys when um, when the mains arrive. Okay, so the mains have just arrived. Me and Sarah have gone for the same meal each. Well, one of them anyway. The <laughs> Philly cheese steak. Whoa! Seared sirloin. Hot cheese sauce. I guess that's it. Sticky onions all on top. And bell peppers in a nice little sub toasted roll, that is. With smoky beef and bacon and gravy and fries. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. So let's just taste this sauce first. Like I said... It is a smoky beef and bacon. A smoky beef and bacon. Yeah, yeah. Gravy and chips, you cannot go wrong. And because it's got beef and bacon in it, it all adds to the flavour even better. Mmm. Oh, I forgot. Just here, Sarah has gone for the brisket and burnt ends with pit beans, cornbread and crinkled pit pickles. What's that then? That's cornbread. Oh, that's the cornbread? Yeah. And then you've got your gravy sauce. Yeah. Is that like a... I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same as what we've got on our this main here. Yep, that's the same sauce as we've got on there. So that's your bacon and beef gravy. Awesome to go all over the top. I'll let Sarah do the taste test on that one. I'll do it on the Philly cheese. Fries, fries are great. Mmm. Gravy, lovely. Oh, look at that. Check that baby out. I love the way the cheese melts on it as well. Good. That is really good. The toasted Subway. Nice and crispy. Blends in lovely with the melted cheese and that seared sirloin. Ah, oh, that is to die for. And the onions and the pickles in there as well. Bell peppers. Lovely, lovely stuff. So this is the uh, burnt ends and brisket with pit beans, cornbread and crinkled pickles. I always, when I cook a roast beef, I always cut the ends of the beef off and nick it before Glen can. It's my favourite cut of the beef. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm going to try it on its own though, because it is my favourite. Oh, Via, a little tip for you. Serve this in the Epicurean. Wow, that good. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I'm going to try it with a bit of that sauce there. It's amazing. I wish we come and tried this on the first night. That is really good. Just taste, taste like baked beef. 
strange to me. And I've never tried cornbread, so I don't know what this is. in the States, isn't it? Is it going to be sweet or I don't know. I'll try it on its own without anything. It's a bit like unsweetened sponge. Unse unsweetened sponge cake. Mm. But that brisket, burnt ends, beautiful, really nice. So we're going to tuck in now, get it all eaten. Hopefully we can manage all three dishes. And uh, like I said, Sarah's got the same as well. So she's not only got to eat the brisket, she's got to eat a Philly cheese sandwich. Do I feel like I'm in Philadelphia? Absolutely. Well, they say save the best till last. I'm not quite sure about that. Sarah's more of a dessert person than me, but it does look pretty impressive. Right here, we have S'mores Chocolate Delight. That's graham cracker tart on the bottom, a dark chocolate mousse in between, torched marshmallow and blueberry jam. And it does look pretty spectacular, it must be said. It must be said. What have we got here, sir? Cherry cobbler. Yep, so this is Sarah's cherry cobbler, which is sorry to sour. I can't even speak now, and my belly's so full, I'm getting brain freeze. Um, it's a sour cherry quiche compote and vanilla ice cream. There we go. What Sarah's got there is a peanut butter jelly tart. That yum, looks yum, really, yum. really nice. And again, graham cracker base, just like mine, just like my dessert. Raspberry jam, peanut cream, and raspberry sauce. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. There it goes. Ooh. Ooh. God. That's pretty that, that crusty biscuit is pretty tough at the bottom there. Alright, oh, let's get it all in one go. That looks really, really chocolatey. It looks quite rich. It does look very rich indeed, and I'm sure it's gonna be. Like I said, I'm not a massive dessert fan, but let's just see how this goes down. I'm a big fan of dark chocolate. When you can really taste the dark chocolate. The base, crumbly base, quite hard though, quite tough. But it does work. It reminds me of something that my mum used to make years ago. Like a lemon meringue, but with a crispy base on the bottom. And, um, yeah. Marshmallows, toasted marshmallow, and you can feel the, you can taste the burn. I was going to say, feel the burn. That's a, that's a different thing. You can, um, you can really taste the burn in the marshmallow, and that gives that marshmallow just a little bit of crispiness on the top of the tart itself. Not bad. I'm going to do my best to eat it all, but I'm not sure I'm going to make it. This is that. Um, peanut butter jelly tart. So what did you say that that bake? Mine's the graham cracker base as well. Yeah, graham cracker base. Taste that first. I can't describe it. It's like soggy shortbread. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Soggy shortbread. But this is what I wanted to try. The peanut butter. So I'm a great fan of peanut butter. So are the Americans. I can't really taste much peanut butter. I'm going to try it all together. That's it, mix it all in. Yeah, but I can't try really... Try it all together. I can't really taste that much peanut butter, to be honest. It's better if you mix them all together. So the peanut butter with the graham cracker and the... Raspberry... What was this? Raspberry Kool-Aid or raspberry cum pot or something like that. A raspberry sauce. Yeah. So yeah, it does taste better with all of them together. For sure. It's like little dough balls. Give it a go. Where it's this sour cherry, I'm not... Um, I don't know if it's going to make me put a funny face. Wow, that, 
not sour. And that is like a scone. It tastes a bit like a scone to me. But very plain. Very plain. Hence why you probably need the ice cream, which is there. And you need the cherry mm -hmm. sauce to go with it as well. So you can dip it in there. But it said it was sour. Yeah, it but looks, just looks um, pretty rich. It's not sour and it's warm. Okay, so it's a warm dessert. Now that sauce is, yeah. Mm. Not bad. Well, that was simply fantastic. Sixth Street Diner down on deck six. Do not miss it. You've seen the menu. You've seen the quality of the food. You've felt the ambience in there. The atmosphere was simply amazing. We had a, an absolute ball and to top it off with some fantastic food. I'm completely stuffed. Sarah's completely stuffed. So it's a massive thumbs up for the Sixth Street Diner and all of it staff on deck six. Travel.